History books have tried to erase us. It has been taught so much that American Indians are dead and gone or vanished. This is a study about a culture and a group of people that are still alive integral pieces of our values, our life ways, who we are, are being ripped away, thrown on a shelf. It's like having a relative in jail or in prison. I've often used the word lost, but then I, I didn't feel comfortable using that word because we never lost it. It was stolen from us. Why do you have them? And what are you doing with them? And what is the purpose? And how did you get them? It's heartbreaking to watch your ancestors being extracted. It feels disrespectful, it feels hurtful, it feels like a violation. It creates this imbalance on the land, in our families, in our communities. In essence, we're professional mourners. We're just trying to make ourselves whole again. Um, and repatriation uh, gives us that opportunity to do. So Native people are seen as the relics of the past, but also uh, returning remains are seen as anti-scientific and that is a real problem. I actually heard this from several people that that tribes wouldn't have a history if it wasn't for archaeologists to, to preserve them. People in archaeology um, and related fields saying that the passage of NACRA and the requirement of repatriation was like the burning of the library in Alexandria in ancient times, that it was the destruction of knowledge and that we as a university had to resist it at all costs. You can't legislate intent. So as much as NAGPRA is seen as a way for tribes to have access, if the institution doesn't feel like this is an important law, doesn't understand it, doesn't really, isn't really invested in creating a collaboration between the institution and the tribes, you're not going to see good work being done. There's still a lot out there that needs to be fixed. It might get fixed, it might not. It is a persistence. You just insist and insist and insist. And ultimately, people will see that you're not the threat, you're not the enemy, you're the solution. And they can be the solution. I think everybody should be proud of who they are, no matter. But don't steal our identity. You know, because we don't go do that to anybody else and they wouldn't let us. The time has come for us to write our own history, to tell our own truth.